And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Kansas City Royals going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty, just like you, Chris, Jose Quintana. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel we for on that given day. When he's right, see. he's really the able to keep baseball. hitters guessing, and all like of his no. stuff seems to be coming out of the same yeah. arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Fly ball down the line, and that'll fall for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. That's yeah, that's a little bit high. Ball one. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Back to the mound. It hit him. And they get the out after the ricochet. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, that's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. And now the right fielder, Vinny Pasquantino. There's a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Field two. Lifted in the air, right field. Stewart settles under it and makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. And he's up to third safely with two gone. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just well, relax, bring things together, and perform at a level well, one, that they're no capable strike. of. Two outs with a runner at third. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one, ball, one this guy's strike. got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. in a tough spot had to make a great pitch did it got the strikeout gets out of the jam clearly he's happy with those results back here at City Field and on the mound today Brady Singer well the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches I mean he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Here's the veteran outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon. 
Singer goes six feet five inches, 215 pounds, a former first round pick back in 2018. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Here's the 0-2. And ball. misses inside. Chop to first. He steps oh. on the bag. One gone, bottom half of the first. Here's a Mets lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with well, the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. The wind of the pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. Batting third. The shortstop. Francisco. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Francisco Lindor. Fouled off to the right. Two outs, base is empty. And, one and ball one. one. Back to the mound. Sneaks through, base hit. Batting four. The Runner at first for two away. Hmm. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. And that's Four down and away. Lindor off of first with two away. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And two another ball. That three one balls. misses. Counts full three and two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Checks over to first, back safely. The pitch. And down on strikes. That ends the frame. Nothing for the Mets in the first. Second inning coming up from City Field. Nothing, nothing here on the show. Top of the second, and here's the first baseman, M.J. Melendez. M.J. Melendez. The wide to kick the pitch. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. And a foul ball. And one out now. So up now for Kansas City, Nelson Velasquez. That one misses, and that's ball one.
The pitch. Hey. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. Oh, this hey, pitch rides in him. too far. Okay. That got him. Well, he didn't miss by much right there, but it was just enough to clip him on the way in. And next up for the Royals, Nick Lofton. Yohan. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Man at first, one away. Ground ball right side could be two. One at second. And that's two. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here in Queens, and now Brett Beatty, the third baseman. Brett Beatty. Let's go, Matt. Singer back to work, and the pitch a little bit low. Ball Counts one. one On the corner for a strike and a count one and one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The one one is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but. He did good. such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And next for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That to right, Pasquantino on the move. Squeezes it. One away. Batting seven. The second baseman. Jeff. Not Jeff here. McNeil stands in. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Ball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Baden over at first with one away. And there's a rocket into the outfield. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. First and second, one out. Now it's the right fielder, DJ Stewart. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And it's off the wall. One runs in. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. In to score from first. It's 2 nothing. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Anytime you smoke the ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. And now Bader up to the plate. That one down the oh, line, that's and that's just foul. Still only one out here in the inning. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
That one drilled left field. That's a hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Grounded out his first time. Nimmo. Right through there for a strike. Traffic on the bases with two already in to score. Bottom half of inning number two. That one pulled foul. Two on, one out. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And there's a ball. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one-two. Almost got him. And a pitch. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Base hit and a run into score. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Starling Marte up to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Hit on the ground might be two. On a second, they get one, and that's two. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. We play two full. It's the Mets three, and the Royals nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And to the plate for Kansas City, Freddie Fermin. Fermin. The wine of the pitch. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The lefty, the 1 0. And that one pulled foul. Ball to strike. That one fouled off. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Isbell. Kyle Isbell, batting with one down, takes a strike. And a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And two away now. Now, that is now the third baseman. Baseball. He's one for Thank one, let off the game with a single. Yeah. He swings and fouls one off.
two down, nobody on. Good eye in that spot. in the air left field tracks it down for the out and that'll do it and welcome back to the ballpark set for the bottom of the third stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop Francisco Lindor the pitch Charlie's back well, out here for the third and after the first couple of innings pretty rough I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length see if he can save the bullpen some out to short wit zips it across oh. Lindor retire now batting first baseman Pete. Oh, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso, struck out swinging his first time. Since debuting in 2019, no player in the majors has hit more homers than Pete Alonso. That pitch gets the corner, and the count even at one. One out, base is empty. Pitch two misses. Balls, one now strike. two balls and a strike. Wouldn't ball chase three. that time. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Down, base is empty. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. The kick, the 3 2. Chopper, right side. Lofton tosses to first, and that takes care of Alonzo. Up next to the Mets, the third baseman. Now a chance for Brett Beatty. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Ball one and a pitch inside. And a good eye there. Two balls, no strike. And the pitch. Ripped into right field, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now the catcher comes up to him. Francisco Alvarez. Just off the inside edge. Baden, the runner at first with two gone. Just missed. Two a count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. That misses. And that's ball three. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. And there's the automatic. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. 
Swung on, belted. That one's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Met strand one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Start of the fourth, up so up down for Kansas City. City. Bobby shot. Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. And he deals. Pitches in the dirt, and it's 1 0. Well, these Royals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Sean Manaya gets the ball now. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep Got eating him. right out of your hand. Lindor on to first. And Witt is out. The white fielder, number nine, Vinny. Vinny Pasquantino digs in now. He's 0 for 1. And a foul ball. One that ball. misses the zone at a count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The Royals trailing by three. Top half of inning number four. Next one in the dirt. That one drifts inside. It's a good take. The lefty fires. This to third. Rolls across the diamond. And they get Perez for the out. Royals set down in order. Nothing doing for the Royals. Still down 3 0. Ready to go, Leading bottom up. four. Well and now here's Jeff McNeil. The second baseman. Jeff McNeil. And the right hander back to work. And no. that's off inside. the inside edge. And that's ball one. And it's fouled away. Here comes a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. The one two. Good Whoa. eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes.
And the right-hander deals. Just misses with that one. Line drive. Hauls it in for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Stewart, in his third season, 30 years old now, he joined the team as a free agent. Stewart, now in the box, comes up empty oh with a swing there. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Liner snagged it first. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. And stepping in for New York, Harrison Bader. That one to first. He'll do it himself. Three up, three down, inning over. Mets go down quickly, but they lead it 3 nothing. We go to the top of the fifth and to the plate for Kansas City, M.J. Melendez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm oh. delivers. A little bit high. And that is ball one. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Cole Sulser up and loosening in the pen. Diekman, a left-hander, also throwing. Next offering is fouled back. On the ground, nope. and it goes just foul. Shoots a line drive single into right center, and the leadoff man aboard. Now so much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. So digging in, Nelson Velasquez. Swings hey. through that. All ones account. Melendez gets his lead at first with nobody out. And that one fouled off. Swing and a pop-up. McNeil has this one sized up. Makes the grab one away. Now that second base. Nick. Lofton. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Lofton. He hit into a double play his first time up. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty, that one way outside, and the count even one and one. And a swing and a miss there. See that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And another ball. Grounded to third. Could be two. Baden tossed the second. Over to Alonzo. Double play. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets three and the Royals nothing.
And we're back. Leading Bottom of the inning. The Here's the left fielder, no left Brandon field. Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. And a pitch. Slider misses outside. Well, these Mets, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've launched six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Velasquez pulls that one down, and a quick out number one. The batter, number six. Here's Starling Marte. Starling. Martin. That the misses the zone. Ball one. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. Two and out. In there at the knees for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind hey. as to the conviction in the Two call. Balls. Two strike. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Two outs, base is empty. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Two outs. And that's outside. It's a ball and two strikes. The shortstop takes a ball. Two down, nobody on. And Thank another you. ball. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. And the Mets go down 1-2-3, but they lead it 3-0. set for the Pretty top of the, the sixth. Boyle. Here's the catcher, catcher. Freddie for me. For me. The pitch. Hey. That clips the zone. Going one. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Ground ball, left side. Whips it across, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The center fielder, number 28, Kyle. And now it's Isbell. Kyle Isbell. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Let's go, Matt. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Next pitch is outside. Left hand batter waits. On the ground to first. Alonso oh. takes it to the bag. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. So the lineup flips over. Here's the third baseman. One for two. Right through there for a strike. Movement in the bullpen, Jorge Lopez. The hard-throwing righty is up and loosening. Rayleigh also getting ready. Oh. 
Hammer, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now here is Bobby Witt Jr. Ripped, but it curls foul. Step off throw to first. Back in safe, really close. I think you want to get a one way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter, not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score on a ball in the gap. And that one finds its way through. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on, and two out. The right field, number nine. And next up for the Royals, Vinny Pasquantino. Strike one. Oh, and one. At the belt and fires. Check swing, and he held up. I got a ball, one strike. And now one and two. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Next offering is downstairs. Two on, two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. The pitch. Check swing. Now it appeal to third. And Matthew Ross right on it says he held up. Three and two now. Fights it off. You'll see another. Two outs. And they're all loaded up. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So they bring on the veteran, Cole Sulser. This is his third time out this year. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. First offering, and it just misses. Two outs, bases are full. And another ball. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, bases loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Just missed. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. There's a strike. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss. Stuck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Alec Marsh. 
just trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game here's Pete Alonso this guy with light tower power the pitch Ball one. one there. Bo Boog, it didn't take very long for Alonzo to set the home run record here at City Field. He passed Lucas Duda for the top spot in June of 2023. Hey. On the corner for a strike. Hey. Next Good offering ball. way off the plate. Right-handed reliever. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. That misses the zone. Three and two down. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Payoff pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. The third baseman, Brett Beatty. First pitch misses. Alonso aboard here at first with nobody out. There's a strike. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Popped up. In position. Corrals it. And there's one down. Now batting. Catcher. From Pisco. Alvarez. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Just missed. Close one doesn't get the call. And it's 2-0. Two two oh. No strike. That's Three down ball. and in. No strike. And ball nope, four to a board. Ball four. Y'all just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging second at something out of the zone. Two on with one out. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. The other way. And that's a base hit. Alonzo is waved home. The throw is offline. He's safe. And they lead by four. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now a screamer into the outfield. And there's a hit. Around third. He'll score. It's 5-0. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. So up next for New York, Harrison Bader. Fought off foul.
Runners at the corners, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And a good eye there. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Next one, offering misses, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Close, but call the ball. And now three and one. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Righty delivers, and he walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Back to the top of the Mets order. Brandon Nimmo getting ready to hit one for three. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Tough situation right here. It's so important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. And a pitch. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Double play ball to second. There's one. And that's two. So two runs in the inning on two base hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We're through six full. It's the Mets five and the Royals nothing. New inning getting started. So up now for Kansas City, MJ Melendez. The first baseman, number one, MJ Melendez. And here it comes. That one missed. Solser goes six foot one. He features a four seam fastball, a change up, a slider, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Couple of hits now in a row for him here. Nice job of driving no that thing. pitch the other way on a Bullock line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And the batter now, Nelson Velasquez. the mark there now 2-0 oh. if you're going to get something going this is the time to do it you get the leadoff man on everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say I'm just going to keep the line moving don't try to do too much 2-0 to Cal here it oh, comes sorry, that's just missed runner at first with no outs here foul ball pitch swinging a foul back that's out of play instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended tied him up a little bit slightly up slightly in and the righty deals and a foul ball he stays alive kicks and deals Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One away. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. The and what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone. You don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop-up. The Mets leading by five here in the top half of inning number seven. Let's go, New 
in the dirt to second but way too late safe there and that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position well that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play so good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Kicks and fires. And now two balls and a strike. Melendez, the runner at second with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, center field. Bader racing after it. Makes the grab after a long run. That's out number two. The batter, the catcher, Freddie for me. So, a man aboard. Next is the Royals catcher, Freddie for me. Fastball in for a strike. 0 and 1. Two outs and one in scoring position. And it's even up. And that's a little high. Man at second. Pitch That's misses over. there. And now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3 1 count. The 3 1. And a foul ball. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Runner at second, two down. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Center field, Bader sizing it up. He's got it, and that is that. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Mets five, and the Royals nothing. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. John Schreiber. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now the DH, Starling Marte. 0 oh for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Marte. Here comes a pitch. Inside corner, that's a strike. And it's 0 1. And the right hander deals. In for a strike, and it's 0-2. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The 0-2, and ball one. One ball, two strikes to count. Wouldn't Whoa, chase that right time. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. So they get the first out of the inning. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. 
now up to hit Francisco Lindor. The shortstop takes the ball. Count one and oh. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seven. The pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Way inside. <laughs> On the ground to third. Throws to first. Lindor retire. Good slider inside right there. Now Batter bad. fighting first to get there. Man. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Alonso. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets. Pete Alonzo. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings hey. through that one for strike one. Oh and one. And the pitch. That's the off ball. the mark. And now it's even one and one. One and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Inside just missed. Two down, nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a pitch. And he chases that one. And it's a three up, three down inning. Down in order go the Mets as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Reed Garrett. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. Kyle Isbell. The pitch. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Righty to the plate. Out to short. Lindor. Fires over to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Now batter. The third baseman. Michael Garcia. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. First nope, pitch doesn't the find the zone. The Mets leading by five, and we're in the top of the eighth. Right-handed reliever. Line drive, speared at first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now batting the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. Come on, New York. That one called the strike. It's 0-1.
at the belt and fires. High fly ball right field. Stewart makes the grab and that's the inning. Back here at City Field. Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. The right hander back to work. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Pasquintino makes the grab on the run. Man, Boog, I love the watching pitcher. an outfielder take on the wall to make that play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because. That can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Alvarez, the next to hit, takes ball one. One down, base is empty. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first, and he held back according to Ricky Holiday. 2 0. And That's another ball. ball. Rip to short. Gathers and throws to first. That's the it out. Number one, second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Swing and a miss, strike one. Yeah, his All swing is now. so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And a foul ball. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely, if he's doing... Dives for it! Got it! Makes the play! Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. That'll fire up the dugout. Time to go hit. Back here in Queens, and now the right fielder, the Vinny right fielder, Pasquantino. Vinny Pasquantino. And here it comes. Yeah, and One the over. domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Two balls, no strikes to count. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. McNeil moving under this one. One up, one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So here's the cleanup hitter, Salvador Perez. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And that one clips the corner. And that's outside. Base is empty, one away. You're at the top of the ninth. Hard hit, left side. Toss to Alonzo. Two up, two down. Now back, the first baseman, MJ Melendez. So they're down to their final out. Digging in, MJ Melendez.
There's a strike. So the ball really well today. That two seam fastball has got good run on it. Excellent job of moving it around the plate. Here comes the 1. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Bader going back, and that ball is gone. His fourth home run of the season, and they cut into the deficit. It's 5 1. That home run narrows the gap between these two. This one isn't over yet. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. So up next, Nelson Velasquez. Ground ball up the middle. And that is the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.